Hi friends and welcome to my channel, Selena Star Designs. I am Selena, an interior designer, stylist and furniture refinisher. On today's video I'm going to be sharing with you a great little makeover on this gorgeous classic spindle console table. And there's nothing more that I love working on console entry tables. I think you can add so much fun and personality and really play up on the colour schemes on these pieces as well. And they're really fast flips as well. So if you want to see this makeover, stay tuned. So Sydney has been in lockdown for the last few weeks and this has really hindered my ability to flip furniture as I used to. So right now I'm actually just been working on my website and on e-design as well. So this makeover I've been holding off for quite a while because I wanted to make sure that I had some inventory to work on as this Sydney lockdown has been going on. So today I finally get to show you how I made over this console and I will be selling it later on but just not currently in this lockdown state that we're in in Sydney. So first thing I'm going to do is get to my studio space and set this up and get to working on the sanding so let's go so here's the gorgeous classic console that I'll be working on you can see that the timber is actually really good there's not too many scuff marks so that will be nice and easy to sand the only detail and thing that I have to consider when sanding is the top of the curve so I'm first starting off with an 80 grit sandpaper and this will help remove all those darker stains at the top and then I'm just going on the sides and cleaning this up and once this is finished, I will then grab just the excess paper from my first sanding pad and just go by hand gently into the grooves. And I found that it was easier to sand in these detailing backs by flipping the console on its side and it just made it easier because the gravity was helpful to then sand down along the edges as well. Here I'm just blending in the sides as I thought I was actually going to leave that lip detailing but I realised once I sanded it down that it just looked a bit too classic and I wanted to modernise it a bit so by blending in these sides I think it was going to give it more of a modern look. And then once I had blended all of that I was able to finish up on the 240 and I'm just brushing my hand over the top to always make sure that I'm not missing any spots and that it's all smooth and good to go. Next up, the all important cleaning. So I'm just using some sugar soap with a bit of eucalyptus oil and removing all of the dirt and grime. These drawers were actually really difficult. I thought by removing the screws from the inside, I would actually be able to pop out that front drawer detailing, but they had been glued in. So unfortunately I couldn't do that option. So what I had to do then was grab a fillet head and a mallet and quite slowly and gently rotate around the handle that's in that center and try to slowly jimmy it out, which I eventually got to, but then realized also that I couldn't get the nail out. So the difficulty in not being able to remove this little nail was that I had then had to use a clipper to cut off the excess point and what I'm going to do is actually just fill it in and hide it in that little center and that means that I now have to use a longer hardware piece rather than a knob that I had originally thought I could do but that's okay it still work for the piece so all I'm doing is applying the wood filler and making sure to fill in and cover up that nail hole and then I'm just going to let that dry and then next I'm moving inside and just painting it upside down on my coffee table as I find that a lot easier to get into the details and it's just easier for my back and height as well. I made up my own chalk paint colour, sort of a minty soft tone. So I'm just gonna let that dry for an hour or two. And once that had nearly finished drying, I then moved on to the drawer and sanded down the rest of the wood filler. So next I'm just measuring out where to put the hardware in. So I love using a mixture of different hardware pieces. I think they just add so much personality and really lighten up a piece. And this one was an acrylic sort of gold finish. And I bought this from Etsy and I'll link below where I bought that from as well.
Now moving on to the second coat. And once I'd let that dry for a little bit longer, I then took it outside and flipped it back up and then just filled in all the details and parts that I'd missed as well. I'm then moving on to priming my timber to make sure that the oil stain that I use absorbs evenly onto the porous timber surface. I'm just using a cloth to apply that on. So after about four hours, I then applied the liming wash. And you want to make sure that you go in different sections because it is oil. It can absorb very quickly and splotchy if you're not careful with how you're applying it. So make sure you just go section by section and that way you'll get a smooth and even finish. So I'll let that dry for a few hours, then attach the hardware. I can now then apply the Fusion hemp oil and then this just gives it a really lovely sheen and protects the top coat of the oil varnish as well. And here we are, it's all finished. I had so much fun refinishing this classic console entryway table. So with a bit of hard work, imagination, and some hardware changes, you really can transform what was maybe outdated and a bit unloved into something modern and really beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in interior styling and want to learn more about furniture flipping and refinishing, then make sure you subscribe because I've got some amazing videos coming up where I'm going to give you a bit more behind the scenes on how I started my business and some exciting new news about my website, which I'm hoping to launch very soon with some incredible products. So make sure you stay tuned and subscribe to get notified of those videos. So thanks for watching and see you next time.